Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. Hey, we standing on the banks of Lake Murray. We fixed to unload the boat, and uh, we're going to go fishing. But I want to show you people what I do to unload the boat. I got me a long rope. It's a little bit by two and a half times long as my trailer. So I got about a, it's about a 45 foot rope. And uh, what I'll do, and I'm going to try to show you, is I'll come up under here with, with a loop on one end and I'll hook it to my, uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand now. And I'll hook it to my uh, hitch, my strap on my trailer. And then I'll take and pile the rest of it in the back of the truck here. And uh, bear with me. We're gonna pull the rest of it in the back of the truck. Right here. Going in the back of the truck. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll hook the other end. Bear with me. Hey, we gonna get it. Other end I got a little clip-on cleat. A little loop that clips on the the, uh, the boat. We're going to go up under here. And click it off. And then what we got is two ropes going up toward the truck. The bed of the truck. Okay. Now. We got it set up to go. We got the truck and the boat. At this point, all I'm gonna do, and I'll get back with you, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go set the uh, camera up and I'm gonna back the truck in. And then when I get it to the bank, I just lift up on the nose of the boat and set it right on the bank. This is what I do when I unload a boat by myself. Hey, how about that, folks? You got to love it, ain't you? I'm going to turn you all off. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on a, on a episode of unloading a boat. Hey. Now we're going to go out and try to catch some bass. How about that? Hey, let's go get them. Hey, folks. Just threw out and caught us about a four-pound largemouth. And uh, right before that, I caught a stripe. I didn't have a camera rolling. And, uh, hey, caught him on a worm, just the largemouth. We're going to worm fish in here a little bit on Lake Murray this morning. Cold. Uh, temperature dropped overnight. Been windy for about through two days. Hadn't been doing any fishing. And uh, we decided we were going to come out a little bit and give it a shot. And I just caught a knife, but I didn't have the camera in place. Maybe we're going to catch another, hopefully. The wind's blowing a little bit today, but not like it's been been. Been off. And, uh, hey, we're going to give it a shot and see if we catch another. Bear with me. Got 
one on the money, man. Nice one, too. Nice one. Money, man. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Large man. Money, man. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Money mana. Get back off of them. Getting too close to them. We got a few fish feeding out in here. Get back off of them. I'll show you what we got. That second one we caught. The other one I caught with the worm. And this near I caught with the money mana. Him out. He's stuck, I tell you that. Hey yeah. Nice large mouth. See that? Hey, that's a nice one. I'll show you the one I caught him right before him. So we got two of them we just caught out of here. Got them in the live well because I'm gonna throw them, I'll throw them back at the wild. Come here, boy. Yeah, boy. Look here. Hey, that's two nice ones. Right off the bat. We catch a nut. We catch a nut. It's all about timing. Back out here and cast that money mother again. I cast it, and I seen the fish come up a little bit on this side of my cast. I'm gonna pull it back through them one nail. So we got a few bass out here feet on hair. That's what we've been looking for. I tell you, been touched fine. But I think we might be a fountain couple. Temporarily. So we catch a couple of them. on the sandbar and throw out and bring it back. What we're gonna try to do. Might be they got too close to them. That's two I just caught out of this. So. Might not catch that many more, I don't know. Have to wait them out. Fish with the worms, they come up, throw them in my uh, what we have to do. Folks, I think we got one on the worm here. Yep, got one on the worm. Got one on the worm. Got a boat crumb come on top of it. Kind of come on top of it. Got one on the worm. We can get him in here. Let's see if we can get him in here. Oh yeah. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here to the old fisherman. Come on in here to the old fisherman. Uh -huh. Come on in here to the old fisherman. Oh, yeah. We got him. We got old black bass. Finally hit the worm. Not a big one, but he hit it. He hit it. He swallowed it, too. He swallowed it, too. We got a boat gonna come on right on the side of us over here. He's gonna come in on top of us. I swear, people in Lake Murray do not care if you play fishing. They'll come right on you. They will come on you and run you over. They're the rudest people I've seen in my life. Hey, this is what we got right here. Go ahead, 
folks, we got got nothing on the worm. Did we catch it? Got nothing on the worm. Oh my! Spitting it, trying to spit it out. Nothing on the worm. On the wrong side of the boat. Get him in. Nice one. Nice one. He is a nice one. Oh, golly, got off. Jesus. Shoot. Got a nothing, folks. Got a nothing. They're hitting this worm. We got a new color. I believe they like it better. That's a good one. That's a good one. I believe they like it better. I just lost a big one, and this hit was another nine. He's coming up again. Oh, Lord of mercy. He's a good one. He's a good, He's a good man. He's about a five pounder. He's about a five pounder. Oh, come on in here, boy. 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 Come on ahead of that old fish. Oh, barely got him too. Look at him. Look at what we just caught on the worm. Hey, there's some good ones out there. Angel was hitting that worm. I barely caught that fish. I got him by the skin of his teeth. I mean by the skin of his teeth. These old bass, they'll get out there and they'll roam around looking for hair and and if a little worm comes tricking by him, he will take it. See that? Hey, that's a good one, ain't it? Look at that. That's at least a four pound bass. I better put him in the live well for At least a four, four pound bass. We are trying a new worm out. <clears throat> a new color, and I believe you like it. It's called a uh, uh, cherry seed. Super Salt Plus Trick Worm. Cherry, uh, cherry Seed. It ain't but six inches long now. It ain't a seven inch. But they're hitting it. It ain't as big as the other worm I was using. I like the other worm because I can throw it farther, but hey, they hitting old cherry seed. I think that's a good color. That might be better than the red bug. That might be better than the red bug, people. They're hitting that cherry seed. Take it out. And I'm using just a small number seven split shot right now. With a uh, two walls. Got my Gatsu hood. This little six inch worm, that two walls plenty big enough. Now, using that big old worm, the three walls might be better. All right, let's see if we get them done. Hey, this is getting good. I'm just throwing, I'm, I'm sitting up here on the bank, basically I'm in about two foot of water on spot lock. I'm be chunking out. What I'm doing. Working it in real slow. You got a school of bass out there patrolling the area. When you pull that dog on joker by him, you want to take it. Slow is worm fishing. Worm fishing slow. There goes a nut. Hey, there goes a nut. See if we can get him. See if we can get him. He's got it. He's gone with it too. 
Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. We kill them with chassis, but good fish, too. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Chassis is getting them. Yes, sir. Chassis is getting them. What? Oh, my. Oh, goodness sakes. Yes, sir. They love that chassis. I can tell you that right now. They loving chassis. Come in here, boy. Where's my net? Where's my net? Where's my net? Come in here, chassis. Come in here, little old fish. Look at that. Huh? You think they ain't hitting cherry seed, you wrong. Hey, we killing them on cherry seed. What? Look at that. Nice bass, cherry seed. Six inch, zoom. And they swallow them. We gonna put them in the live well, make sure all of them are come too. Make sure they okay. Jokers is killing that cherry seed. Got to do surgery. We got him. We got him. Cherry seed worm. Look at that. Hey, that's a nice one. Put him in here. See if we can get him there. Back out China. It's getting good to the old fishermen. Loving life. Boy, I tell you what. Loving life. They killing this worm. You can feel the rocks. It's not big rocks, it's just chunks of stone out there. It's a real rough bottom. And them fish are loving that rough bottom out there. And they're feeding on hair never so often. And that worm comes pulling by, they will thump it. What they doing? Folks, I just come around the corner and I seen a striper floating, but he wasn't moving. And I said, Self, that joke is tied off to a trot line or a rod. Well, guess what? I unhooked the hook out of his mouth. He's rotting, he's floating. And started pulling on the line, and look what I come up with. A nice, uh, <laughs> ugly stick rod, super nice ugly stick rod, and a, uh, and a nice reel, uh, quantum reel, Full of line. That's what I come up with. How about that, folks? You got me a good rod. Sometimes when you're on the water, it pays to be observant. Well, I was watching that fish float in the wind, and he ain't moving. And I said, you know what? I guarantee you that that joker is tied to a rod. And lo and behold, he was. And he never broke off. That heavy line, so they jerked the line, a rod out the boat, and I mean, it hadn't been there long, probably a week. Hey, everything's in good shape. We got us a new rod and reel. <laughs> you got to love that. A Shakespeare ugly stick. How about that, folks? And a nice quantum reel. <laughs> Old Fishman is observant. He pays attention. Miss Deborah can use that one. It's a perfect uh, uh, herring rod, and that's what they had fish on was a herring because it had a swivel 
with a little number two hook. And I took that off at the fish. That's what they had right there. So, lo and behold, we got us a herring rod. If I ever want to fish for herring, or a good catfish rod. How about that, folks? You got a little old fisherman. Hey, we done caught a good little mess of fish. We chunked them back. I think we had six or seven. <coughs> and I went out there and checked that fish, and sure enough, it was hooked to a rod. Jumbo Magnum, ain't it? That's a good one. 